Picture this, a bitterly cold Arctic morning where snow stretches to the horizon and the roar of a fighter jet shatters the silence. The Saab JAS-39 Gripen, already renowned for agility and versatility, has been transformed with the Rolls-Royce EJ-230 engine. What was once a capable multi-role fighter now becomes monstrous, faster, stronger, deadlier. This is the concept of the Fu-47, Canada's Gripen reimagined. Could it rival the performance of far more expensive jets? Could it redefine Canada's air defense strategy while remaining cost-effective? Today, we explore the future of this powerful fighter and what it could mean for Canadian air power. Canada's air defense faces unprecedented challenges. Its CF-18 Hornets, procured in the 1980s, are approaching retirement, leaving gaps in Arctic and Northern airspace defense. Previous replacement efforts, including debates over the F-35, were complicated by cost overruns, industrial participation issues, and political controversy. The Gripen E emerged as a compelling alternative. It offers agility, affordability, and modular upgrades that align with Canada's operational needs. Its single-engine design, short field capability, and low-maintenance requirements make it ideal for the harsh Arctic environment. Integrating the Rolls-Royce EJ-230 engine into this platform promises to enhance its already impressive capabilities, creating what many analysts are calling a monster aircraft. The Saab Gripen itself is a marvel of modern design. Lightweight, agile, and highly modular, it supports multi-role operations, including air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground attacks, and reconnaissance missions. Its digital avionics suite allows rapid upgrades and integration of advanced sensors and weapon systems, making it adaptable to evolving threats. For Canada, the Gripen represents not just an aircraft, but a platform for sovereignty and industrial development with potential for domestic assembly, maintenance, and eventual upgrades, a foundation for the Fu-47 vision. The Rolls-Royce EJ-230 engine, still largely conceptual, promises significant performance improvements over current aircraft engines. Its projected thrust exceeds 20,000 pounds in afterburner, with potential thrust vectoring for superior maneuverability. Enhanced thermal management, improved fuel efficiency, and modular design mean not only greater performance, but also easier integration of future upgrades. For the Gripen, this engine could dramatically increase climb rates, acceleration, payload capacity, and operational range, making it ideal for Arctic operations where rapid response and flexibility are critical. Operationally, the Fu-47 could transform Canada's defense capabilities. With enhanced thrust, the aircraft could sustain tight turns, perform high-G maneuvers, and retain energy even when fully loaded with weapons. Payload flexibility would allow simultaneous carriage of air-to-air -air missiles, precision-guided bombs, electronic warfare pods, and reconnaissance equipment without compromising performance. Super cruise capability could enable supersonic flight without afterburners, extending mission range, reducing fuel consumption, and increasing interception efficiency. One aircraft could perform tasks that might otherwise require multiple sorties, maximizing operational efficiency in Canada's vast northern territories. Despite its promise, integrating the EJ-230 presents significant challenges. Airframe modifications would be required to accommodate the engine, including structural reinforcements and adjustments to inlet geometry. Extensive flight testing and airworthiness certification would be necessary to ensure safety and reliability. Maintenance infrastructure, pilot training, and supply chains would also need to be upgraded, representing both technical and budgetary hurdles. However, analysts agree that these challenges are feasible with political and industrial commitment. The FU-47 concept carries important industrial and sovereignty implications. Saab's Gripen proposal already includes domestic assembly R&D centers across Canada and thousands of high-tech jobs. Integrating the EJ-230 engine would further cement Canadian expertise in advanced aerospace engineering, ensuring that upgrades, maintenance, and future modifications could be carried out independently. This aligns with Canada's strategic interest in reducing reliance on foreign suppliers while strengthening its domestic defense industry. It also reinforces NATO partnerships while maintaining national operational autonomy. Comparatively, the Fu-47 would fill a unique niche. 
while fifth generation fighters like the F-35 excel in stealth and sensor capabilities, they are expensive, maintenance intensive, and heavily reliant on U.S. supply chains. Twin engine fighters like the Eurofighter Typhoon offer speed and payload, but are costly and less suitable for Arctic operations. A Gripen with the EJ-230 could outperform standard Gripens in thrust, maneuverability, and operational flexibility, while remaining more affordable than heavier fighters. This balance of cost, capability, and versatility makes the Fu-47 an attractive option for Canada's unique operational environment. Future-proofing is another advantage. With the EJ-230's modular architecture, the Fu-47 could integrate next-generation technologies over time, including directed energy weapons, hypersonic missile systems, advanced radars, and AI-assisted mission planning. This ensures long-term relevance without the need for complete airframe replacement, allowing Canada to maintain a technologically advanced fleet for decades. The combination of modular avionics and high thrust makes the Fu-47 an adaptable and evolving platform, capable of addressing emerging threats while remaining cost-effective. The strategic and psychological impact of the Fu-47 should not be underestimated. A highly capable, agile fighter signals deterrence to potential adversaries, enhances pilot confidence, and reinforces Canada's presence in Arctic airspace. Internationally, it demonstrates the ability to combine European engineering with domestic sovereignty, potentially influencing other mid-sized nations' fighter acquisition decisions. The presence of the Fu-47 would not just enhance tactical capabilities, but also serve as a strategic statement of Canadian technological and military independence. Current timelines suggest the Fu-47 remains conceptual. Development depends on EJ-230 certification, airframe modifications, and Canada's procurement decisions. Even if Canada initially acquires standard Gripen E aircraft, the EJ-230 could be integrated later, gradually transforming the fleet. Realization of the Fu-47 would be a multi-year effort, but its vision already shapes industrial planning, defense strategy, and Canada's approach to Arctic sovereignty and NATO commitments. Operational scenarios highlight the Fu-47's potential. Imagine intercepting a long-range bomber over northern Canada. The Gripen Fu-47 launches from a short Arctic strip, accelerates supersonically, climbs rapidly, and engages with full payload efficiency. After neutralizing the threat, it returns to base with fuel reserves thanks to supercruise efficiency. These scenarios demonstrate the tactical, operational, and strategic advantages of pairing the Gripen with the EJ-230 engine. The Fu-47 represents a revolutionary vision for Canadian air power. By combining the proven agility and versatility of the Gripen with the advanced thrust and performance of the EJ-230, Canada could feel the fighter capable of Arctic operations, heavy payloads, multi-role missions, and long-term technological upgrades. While technical, budgetary, and certification challenges remain, the potential benefits, enhanced sovereignty, operational flexibility, industrial growth, and strategic deterrence are substantial. Even as a concept, the Fu-47 shapes Canada's defense planning and aerospace ambitions, offering a glimpse of a powerful, adaptable, and formidable fighter for the northern skies. If you found this deep dive into Canada's Gripen Fu-47 and the EJ-230 engine upgrade fascinating, hit like, share this video with friends interested in defense technology and geopolitics, and subscribe to Military Power Play for more documentary-style coverage of military aviation defense innovations, and global strategic developments. Stay tuned as we track whether the Fu-47 becomes reality or remains a legendary vision in Canada's skies.